In this video I show how to use XKIM uh, for doing a DC simulation with XSIS and after doing the simulation how to view the results uh, using graphs in XKIM and also using some advanced features of XKIM like calculating expressions, derivatives and more and more uh, calculations on, on the waveforms. So, as usual, you create an empty directory, copy the XKIMRC file from the OpenPDK installation here, and run XKIM. Okay, you use XKIM, so I create a new tab and uh, start drawing a circuit. First of all, I will save the circuit as a test size DC. Yes. Okay. Next I start adding some stuff here. The title always needed. Looks nice. It's not mandatory, but I like having a, a, a title in the schematic. Next I need to add uh, I need some voltage sources. I need uh, a label for the text for the nets here and I need the transistor I want to run the simulation on so we'll go up and go into the sky 130 directories here and I want to the NFET 1.8 LVT transistor this one okay so I start adding some terminals to the transistor Press W for a wire, W for a wire, wire, wire. Double click, set the name as zero. For size, you cannot use GND as you usually do with NGSpice. You need to set the reference level to zero. Or if you use GND, then you need to connect GND to zero with an additional voltage source. So this is the gate terminal. And this is the drain terminal. On the drain, I want to add uh, a measuring device. It is it is called uh, a meter. This one. This is specially used to force the simulator to save the branch current into this device. It's just a zero volt voltage source. It's very useful, and we call this VD1. I call this VD1, VD1 because this will be the VD voltage source which will provide the drain voltage. For now I will set it to zero because it will be used in a sweep simulation and the lower terminal is also set to zero and the whole thing is also done for the gate terminal G. Okay, and this will be called VG. Okay, so I have set my transistor, the dimensions, I will just keep the default, the drain voltage, the gate voltage. Next I need to add up into the, from the Sky 130 library, I need to add the corner device, which will provide the models for the Sky 130 directory. You can also use... Um, well, let's use this one just. There is also, this is just a, a trick which is used to provide only the corner needed for the simulation, not the other corners. Which this will make the simulation run somewhat faster. Next, I need to add the, from the devices directory uh, simulator commands or a code element let's use a code element code shown this one this will is used to set add some commands for the simulator so we need a dc simulation using a vg vd as a first sweep uh, voltage source from zero to two volt step 0 0.01 
and using VG as the second sweep voltage from 0 to 2 step 0 0.2 I need also to add the print instruction for size specifying the format the output format this is the only one for now it scheme recognizes okay and the file name for the file I set the same name as the circuit so test size PC dot R A W okay and I need all the voltages and all the currents that's the format for size set also a reasonable name here okay this is also done okay we are almost set we net we need to set the simulator to size accept and close I think we are done so netlist and simulate simulation has failed because okay yes I add I forgot to add DC. After a print statement, you need to specify the simulator you want to do, the simulation you want to do to save. Okay, simulation is completed, and I have now all the results. So let's add uh, a waveform graph like this, make it a bit smaller. So control, select the corner, press the M key to make it smaller, like this. Okay move this around to make room for the circuit okay now if you load the data here and now you double click in the graph you see we have the this VD1 current saved and I want to add this one into the graph also if you double click set zero because we if you don't set specify a data set we will see all the all the sweeps in one single run okay if you don't see anything press a full and a full sorry I forgot to add the voltage here okay full full and here is are my currents my waveforms if I go close to one of the waveform and press the T key, I, I will select only one of these, the closest to the mouse. You can also back annotate directly from the graph into the schematic. For example, if you enable live annotate probes with the B cursor, and if you also enable hidden text, and if you press the B to show the B cursor, Oh, the the currents and the voltages are annotated in the schematic corresponding to the position of the cursor. Of course, you need to specify a specific curve by pressing the T key. Um, and this curve, for example, is related to a 1.4 voltage voltage on the gate, and you will see the current. Uh, one more advanced thing I can do with graph is to specify uh, is to specify. Um, an expression so if I want the differential resistance of this transistor so I will take the um, I need to use quotes if you if I want to add an expression and so I want to do an expression on E B D one take the derivative of this current but I want to take the inverse derivative because the inverse of the derivative will be a differential resistance. So I will take a set a one at the beginning and use the division operator. The format is RPN, so you put the values on the stack and the operators last. So if I put this current and take a derivative, these two items are removed from the stack and the result, which is a derivative, is put again on the stack. Then I have one and the current, and I do the division to take the inverse. Okay, I need to also to set a reasonable units for the axis. So we I will set volts for the 
x-axis and kilo ohm for the y-axis and also here I want to to set voltages and microamps for the current okay so I have more reasonable since a resistance dif differential resistance is calculated with a division you can have some division by zero problems however this is the resistance of the transistor you see 20 kilo ohm and even higher if you enable all the waveforms you see all the all the resistances in your graph here and if you see at very very interesting at very low gate voltages for example 0 0.8 the resistance is very low in the linear region then increases to into saturation and then at high vo drain voltages it starts to decrease a little bit that's very interesting however this is how you can use uh, expressions in a scheme to calculate op to do operations on your waveforms I think you find this useful and also in very interesting is to see live in your schematic the results depending on where you put the cursor. Always remember to use the T key to isolate a specific curve if you are doing multiple sweeps because otherwise X scheme will uh, choose only the first curve. In this case you see the voltages, the currents and everything. Thank you.